So that's just a wee shot of uh, looking for harbour and uh, the mountains up the, the back there, typical kind of harbour area, processing and uh, lifeboats and all the rest of it. So I need to uh, try and locate my uh, accommodation for this evening. It's just after four o'clock and uh, so I'm in good time. I've got a feeling it's, uh, it's a mile back the way but uh, we'll, we'll find that out Andy. But uh, very pleasant here. The wind's coming from the north. This is due north this way. The wind's uh, a light breeze at the moment. We've got clear skies this evening, I think. We'll get a frost. You know, so I think we'll get a sharp frost, any. And um, the problem with this uh, accommodation, uh, there's a strictly no smoking uh, policy. And I've got a feeling that uh, applies not only to the, well, to the house, but uh, to the garden area. So I might be struggling to get a cigaretto in my uh, duration of staying here. It was a bit of a nuisance last thing at night and first thing in the morning, but we'll, we'll chat about it. Uh, I'll say to them, I, I don't drink, but I, you know, I like a little puff in my cigaretto. So uh, anyway, let's get on this uh, phone and see if we can locate this accommodation for the night, Andy. All right, so I've just arrived at my accommodation for tonight, the 15th of March. And the uh, <clears throat> hen house in the garden is absolutely brilliant. So, and uh, the very rustic fence that's been handmade to keep out the deer, obviously, but uh, a delightful place. And uh, this stacks of wood uh, puts mines to shame. And uh, is that cherries? That can't be cherries, any. I'm not sure. That's like blackthorn. I'll have to ask about that one. Hmm, I don't know what that is. That's the sort of view I get from the garden. And, uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? And the rustic logs and stuff. Well, this is me at Achmelvik uh, Beach. It's sundown almost. It's uh, just north of uh, Loch Inver, this place. Well, not far from my uh, accommodation. My place is alright actually, and uh, the guy's wife, uh, she does all the, everything's, uh, what do you call it, made at home, including the muesli and everything, and the eggs come from the garden. It's a lovely beach, isn't it? Look how clean that beach is, white. Cold wind coming from the north though. That's uh, it's very nice. Uh, it's a bonny part of the country. You can understand how so many people come up here when the weather's uh, half decent. But it's uh, very unpredictable weather up in the northwest of Scotland. It's uh, hit and miss non stop. Even when it's sunny, uh, forecast sun, it can just change in a minute. It's, uh, the weather's dictated a lot by the sea and the mountains, you see. Some of the oldest uh, rock in the whole world is uh, situated here. Although I don't go for the Big Bang Theory. I told you that before, I think. The Big Bang is, uh, in my opinion, is a, a cop-out by the scientists, the atheists. There's no way that uh, everything just fell, you know, blew up in the sky one day, uh, billions of years ago, and then all just fell uh, to the ground in exact uh, 
spheres for all the different planets and the millions of stars and all the people and all the animals and everything. It's just uh, stupid nonsense to think that the Big Bang and uh, evolution, it's, it's, uh, it's the hand of God. And God's created all this in his own timeline. As they say, a, a day with God is a thousand years. Or an hour is it a thousand years, something like that. And I mentioned from uh, Sandwood Bay that uh, for every grain of sand in the planet, no two grains are exactly the same. No two stars are the same. No two leaves are the same. No two snowflakes are the same. And no two human beings are the same. Isn't that absolutely amazing? So here my guest is, bed and breakfast, in a very isolated rural spot. Conditions are absolutely perfect tonight for the Northern Lights. A wind from the north, clearing skies, and a new moon in the sky. I don't know if you can see it. I saw the new moon a couple of nights ago. An amazing story about that. I think I've I brushed upon it when I was having a meal. I might recap on that. I might put subtitle, subtitles up as to what was happening. But uh, it really is uh, phenomenal. All these branches have been individually bolted together. Amazing. Hey, Bubba. Hello. She's a lady anyway. Definitely a lady. That's a silky hen. That's what they call them, silkies. Mrs. Silky. Or sulky. So I'm just going to make my way in. Daffodils are blooming, despite the cold. Little violas, very pretty. Carnations. So this is my guest area. That's my breakfast table in the morning. Church and look at the holy fire, the wood. Superb. And stacks of wood everywhere. And I can help myself to a, a sweetie. Take one of these. Not bad, any. Let's switch this light on. Why is the light on, any? Try it. If 
do get the Northern Lights, I've got a perfect view for it. bathroom facilities through here. Yeah. This is my room for tonight. What a marvellous comfortable bed. Top notch, Jenny. There's Eddie. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> so, we've had a fantastic day up this part of the world. And, uh, as I say, it's not a it's not a massive distance that I drove, but it was um, uh, amazing, truly amazing. Those lights are flickering. Well, incidentally, that uh, bush I thought it was rose hips because I saw the dog rose, but uh, apparently that's separate. They're actually crab apples. And uh, so that's good for the birds in the winter. It's a beautiful spot. Beautiful. The sun has been up the top of the, uh, the mountain. You might not see in the camera, but they've right to the salt. Uh, Immensely peaceful this house, you know, Annie. It's really peaceful. He did say that water would be absolutely roasted, and it is. I can't, I can't touch it. It's, so I'm going, I'm going to have a bath. Relax. I'll speak to you later.